Hey everyone, it's Justin again. In the last video, we learned how to find and check solutions to systems of inequalities. And the easiest way is looking at the graph. In this video, you're gonna learn to graph systems yourself. So you can use the graph to find solutions anytime you want. Remember when we learned to graph systems of equations and all you had to do is graph all the lines and find where they intersect? Well, it's not that much different for systems of inequalities, except instead of a single intersection point, you're looking for an entire intersecting area, like this green area here. So let's just get into it. We already know how to graph inequalities, so this is gonna be a piece of cake. Here's our first example. Since the first inequality is in standard form, we'll graph it by the intercepts. Ignore the x term to get the y-intercept, and ignore the y term to get the x-intercept. It's an or equal to inequality, so the line will be solid. If we test the point zero, zero, zero plus zero is zero, which is less than or equal to two. So the test point is on the side with the solutions. Now we also graph the second inequality, which is in slope intercept form. The y-intercept is one and the slope is two. So rise two, run one to find a second point. The inequality is strict, not or equal to, so the line is dashed. Finally, we can use zero, zero as a test point, and we get the true statement, zero is less than one. So we shade the side with zero, zero. Here's our system graphed. So what solutions do you see? One negative one is a solution, or zero negative three, or we could even find solutions on the solid line at the edge of the solution area, like four negative two. We just have to be careful because points on the dashed line are not solutions. So really, our solution area will look like this, where the entire green area is full of solutions, not including the dashed line. Okay, so graphing a system is just graphing multiple inequalities on one graph. Simple, right? So let's crank up the difficulty a bit. How about a system of three inequalities? Fair warning here, there are about to be a lot of colors on this graph. The first inequality is easy. Here's y equals negative one as a dashed line because of the strict inequality. And since y is greater than negative one, we shade above. The second inequality is in point slope form. So we plot the given point, negative two, one, use the slope of three to find a second point, and draw a dashed line through them. Use the test point zero, zero, and we get the true statement, negative one is less than six. So we shade the side with that point. If this system only had two inequalities, we'd be ready to say that this is the solution area, but we still have another inequality to graph. The final inequality is in standard form. So we ignore each variable's term to find the other variable's intercept draw a solid line through them, and then test zero, zero, and we find that it is not a solution. So we shade the other side of the line. The more inequalities are in the system, the more lines and shaded regions there are, and that makes it hard to tell which area is the one with all the solutions. The easiest way to figure it out is to just check a point in every area until you figure out where all the areas overlap. We can automatically rule out negative five, negative three, because that's not in any of the areas. It's pretty obvious that negative four, three doesn't work either because it's only in the orange area, not blue or purple. And one negative three is also not right because it's only in the blue. What about negative one, one? It's in both the blue and orange areas, but it's not in the purple. Okay, so we're running out of areas to check. Does five negative two work? No, because it's not in the orange. All right, final area. Does three, four fall into all three areas? It's in the orange, the blue, and the purple. That's it. That point is in all three areas, which means that area is the one with all the solutions to all three inequalities. That's all there is to graphing systems of inequalities. Graph them one by one, and then find the area where their solutions overlap. In the next lesson, we'll be applying this skill to scenario problems. See you then.